In Top Solid 2017, we have completely rethought and rewritten our searching capabilities. Here I just hit the quick search button and I'm going to type drone and hit search. It's going to look through my current project and references and it's going to find my drone. I can middle click on the preview image and go into live preview, check it out, rotate, pan, zoom, see if that's what I want. Pretty awesome. This quick search is also accessible by hitting the standard Windows Control F key on your keyboard. Here I'm going to search for anything family-wise that has the word slide in it as well. Boom, there is every document that has the word slide in it. Awesome. So the quick search can be handy to find information. The next improvement we did is we made it possible to create and save searches as well. So here we're locally within this project, let's create a new search. It's in the advanced tab of new documents. It's called search. Here you have lots of choices. You can search by properties based on information provided. You can have preview icons or a list mode. It's all up to you. Here we're going to search for screws. So here we'll choose the screw command and we'll say that has a function. And I'm going to say equals provided. And all this means is that I'm going to search for every component that has the screw function provided to it. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say and in this query, and I'm going to search for the manufacturer that contains the following data, such as Hasco. Why not? Like that, I've now provided enough information. I'm going to go ahead and name this really quick, and I'm going to call this Hasco Screw. Cool. After I've done that, I'm going to save it once close it, and I'm just going to double click on it to execute it. And at the bottom of the screen, because that's where I have my search bar located, it's showing me all the Hasco screws that exist. I mean, think about the value there. I quickly want to add this component, this component, this component. Well, you can set up your own searches exactly as you need them. And moreover, you can set them up equal to each project that you're working on so that the searches are very, very specific. Here, I'm going to show you how to cheat a little bit. I copied the Haskell screw search and I'm changing it with Mesberger. And I'm going to change the name of Mesberger here. I'm going to copy that name as well. And I'm going to open this, consult it in fact. So open document. And all I'm going to do is change my name here from Haskell to Mesberger. That's it. I'm going to of course save this. And then I'll double click on it to try it out. And just like that, there's all my Mesberger screws. Again, we want to make it easy for you to find the information that you need to use. And of course, just to remind you, just like all versions past of Top Solid 7, once you find the object you're looking for in that tree down there, you can just drag and drop it into any assembly or appropriate target document. It's just that easy. The next thing we're going to show you is the new Searches Manager. What's really cool here is you can create a list of company-wide standard searches. And this list can contain anything. In this sample, I'm using cam and mold, okay? But it could also be simple parts. It could be mechanical parts. It could be anything searchable within Top Solid, and that's the beauty of it. It could be standard toolpath strategies that you drag and drop into your cam file. Why not? In this case, I'm looking for names that contain the word Chuck. Quite simple, okay? At the top of the window there, you see as well, you can set the types of documents it's looking for. So I'm going to save this, check it in, that's done. If I double click, boom, there it now shows me everywhere that I've used the word Chuck. Cool. That's a pretty basic search. Maybe we want to try to create some different types of searches. Maybe we'll create one under mold. Let's have a look. So here again, I'm going to make a new empty search. And let's start perhaps by going through functions. For example, I'm going to go to Top Solid Tooling. This is for mold components. Go down to Components, and I'm going to go to Movement, and I'm going to go to Slides, and I'm going to select Slide. Expand that one more time. And I'm going to choose Function. In fact, what I want to do is, again, look for any component that has the slide function provided to it. Perfect. This way, I can find and reuse any slide from anywhere with relative ease. Check it in, double click, there's all my slides. Anywhere that I've created a slide, used a slide, done something with a slide, it's listed in here. I mean, think about how cool that is. 
Maybe I want to filter by project name. Cool, I want to see all my Misumi slides, all my Mesberger slides, and so forth. You can just filter instantly and quickly. Again, the goal here is quick access to the information you need precisely at the moment that you need it. Now, we made these cool searches over here on this project. It'd be really cool if we can just copy and paste them into here because I know I'm going to use screws from Haskell and Mesberger time and time again. So why not just copy and paste them permanently into my saved searches? It makes life a heck of a lot easier, and I don't have to recreate these from project to project. Again, these are just some simple samples to show you different ways of saving and reusing searches quickly and efficiently. And again, don't be afraid to try this and play with this. Anything that is searchable within Top Solid's PDM can be saved here. I said toolpath strategies early. Try that out. See how cool that is.